SSD not showing up in Windows 10 or 11. Let's fix this right now. The first thing you're going to do is open the command prompt. And for that, we have different ways. You can use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows Plus R. And then you can type CMD on it. Press OK. And this tab will open. The another way that we can do is by the Windows search bar. Right there. You're gonna click and you're gonna type CMD O command prompt if it doesn't show up. You're gonna click with the raw button on it and go and run as administrator. I already covered this topic but for regular ADDs only. And I'll leave the link in the description so in case it doesn't work you can try the other methods as well. Because what happens is that the same problem may have different but similar solutions so you can try them out. Also, if you want to help this channel, I will leave the contribution methods in the description and that helped me a lot to keep making those videos to help you guys. Now back to the video, here you are going to type disk path and hit OK. After that, now you are going to do is write list disk which is used to list the disk on your computer or laptop. It will show all the disks that it's recognized. I will use a disk as an example for this tutorial because for me it I, I'm not having any error. But it's the same thing it just a disk drive. It's just to show you how you are going to solve this problem. But you need to pay attention here to which drive you are going to perform this procedure on. If you bought 508 GB SSD, you are going to see it's around 400 and something here. Or if it's a 1 TB drive, be careful to not to make this mistake and choosing the wrong one. If you aren't sure, check in the file manager the size of your main ADD so you don't select the wrong one. So what you're going to do now is, you can close this by the way, we're just checking and we are going to do this process through another part of the windows which is easier. You also need to make sure your SSD is working because when you are buying something I always tell people about the value. Don't fall for scams where the site is selling SSDs, flash drives or ADDs for a very cheap price. You have to average out the value. Sometimes it's a discount, it's a promotion and it's okay. But you won't find an SSD or ADD for extremely low price. And then you do whatever it takes and it won't work anyway. So what you're going to do next is go to the start menu, right click and go to the disk management. Hey guys, if you really are helping you with the end step of this video, don't forget to subscribe and also leave a comment below and leave a like. So back to the video, the drive I'm going to use an example is this one here, as I'm mentioning to you. You probably see that your drive is a raw drive, which is a recognized drive by the system. And we are going to do is format the da that drive and then perform another step. So select the drive that you want and then there won't be any mistakes because you're seeing everything correctly on the screen. So right click on it and click to format. So on this screen you can rename it and then click OK and then OK in game. It will say that it's formatting the drive and after it's done formatting you're gonna check to see if it's working and recognize it. It will probably still won't recognize it, so there is one more step we will do now. So right click on it again, just a reminder that if I help you and you want to contribute to this channel, the links will be in the description and don't forget that that doesn't help you, there will be another videos in the description with another methods. So back to the video again, let's click on change drive letter and paths. When this screen opens, you click on add and here we are gonna put a letter that isn't being used. So go to the file manager and see which letter is being used so you don't use the same one. Here I won't do it because my computer isn't having any issues. Then just click OK and see if it resolves for you. 
check if the drive appears on your computer or laptop and leave a comment if it worked it for you guys and also if it didn't work check out the other videos in the description below for new solutions see you in the next video and take care